So when we're getting starting with uh, the ZCAT using ControlCAT software, it's always a good idea to program a couple of items into our session. So I'm going to toggle over to the B menu first, and I'm going to highlight the number icon, and I'm going to hit the program number. And what this is going to allow me to do is to program a number into my session. So I'm going to do something simple like the number 6, and I'll hit done. The number icon will be flashing. I'm going to go ahead and put that right here on my screen and you'll notice it says uh, the first number that's at number one is six. So uh, this will all make sense down the road when you're when you're uh, taking measurements. I'm going to toggle over to the B menu and program a distance in. So in this case I'll hit the distance and I'll hit the program key again and I'm going to put uh, minus five. As a, as a distance, and I'm going to put that there. This will allow me to tell the ZCAT how many pro probe hits I want to take and how far from a, another um, dimension I want to take that probe hit from. So it'll all make sense later. Um, I'm going to go ahead and save this program. It's always a good idea to save your programs and your measurements as you're going through so you don't lose anything. So if I hit the, the file button, once and twice it'll automatically save the session and it's saved so if something happens we won't lose anything.